Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are looking at metals and gold prices. A bit of a relief rally. We saw those new lows put in last week. Sort of one of the, what we'll call a dead cat bounce, but we rallied the market about 2.5% since those lows were put in. The dollar has come off and the market's volatilities have come off across the board. So perhaps we just could be seeing a little bit of short covering here. The market itself uh, has didn't in ingest any major news. Yes, some, some calming between China and the U.S. and certainly nothing that picked up any steam in, in Turkey as far as the lira goes and emerging markets seem to be uh, holding at bay. So right now, uh, the bounce comes after a massive amount of selling in gold, a massive amount of getting possible of getting short and a massive amount of exiting for, for greener pastures. Uh, and today's rally was the probably the biggest we've seen in over a month. So big rally in gold uh, on Monday ahead of the of the FOMC minutes and the Fed chairman later this week. So kind of a big move. Uh, dollar, like I said, kind of comes off a little bit. Didn't see a whole lot of trade in the dollar. It wasn't really a major focus day. Uh, equities were more the focus. Bond prices and equities both up, up together. But it seemed to me that the markets were a little bit, uh, you know, kind of on pause here, waiting for the central bankers to meet later in the week, get a key insight on maybe some of the currency moves in the future, obviously some policy changes that might happen. And those are what the dollar was looking at. But the dollar really traded sideways for most of the day. Didn't see a whole lot of bid there, even though we saw the uh, massive uh, massive move in gold today. And lastly, the positioning we've seen, we've talked about this positioning. We went low. We went spec longs, became spec shorts for the first time since late 2001, early 2002. I think possibly on this rally here, those shorts may have gotten a little bit scared. Uh, we may have seen most of them cover with the idea that, yeah, we've got a, we've got some FOMC minutes and those may be kind of ho-hum. But with all the central bankers speaking this weekend, there's a lot of potential volatility out there. We haven't seen it and realized yet, but there's potential volatility that could move the gold market around quite a bit. So I think that we're seeing shorts cover on this little rally. I'm not sure, really sure we're seeing longs get in yet. We will have to wait until next week to see that. But right now, gold market seems to be trying to find some balance around 1200. It didn't quite get there, but it is almost there. And that will probably be what we'll be trading come Thursday and even Friday uh, when we get key announcements from uh, the FOMC minutes from August. And again, uh, Chairman Powell speaking along with several other uh, key economic uh, and policymakers that will be out uh, in Jackson Hole for the weekend. So that's going to be it for gold. Hovering around $1,200. I don't anticipate much more. If anything, we might see a possible push north uh, with more speculators covering their shorts ahead of key uh, central bank meetings later on this week in Jackson Hole. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.